short take on sports headed out to the national stadium for the 2017 national track championships where we caught up with some of the athletes who will be representing jamaica as well as the president of the jamaica cycling federation um i know you were recently in trinidad at the pan caribbean championships you can give me tell us a bit about that experience for you i know you had a second overall in the Caribbean Championships aspect of it, as well as an 11th overall placing in the elite, Pan Am elite um, segment. Tell us a bit about that experience. I mean, uh, it was good, it was good. Um, it, it always good when you go away to race with uh, a guy who works at world class level and some, some of the guys even race in the Olympics and to see that I was able you know, to place in the amongst those guys it was a good it was good for me and second the caribbean with what little we did you know we wanted to do more but we couldn't have but it was good and you know and they're still um better to come so you mentioned the competition um the competition was was is it this is it that the competition was at a higher level than you anticipated oh I, I, it was at a higher level yes i expected it because um i've raced with some other guys before so i know it would be a high level of competition so it's always good. I was expecting it. All right, Marlo, how you feel about being the flag bearer for cycling in Jamaica? Any pressure on you? Yeah, know if you're in the number one spot, there always going to be pressure. So I feel good, you know, to be carrying the flag for Jamaica. You know, I want to carry it as long as possible and best as possible. So I'll put my endeavor best into it. Well, my experience with Bahamas was a good one. You know, it was an eye-opening one. Um, I must say my performance in Bahamas, I wasn't too pleased by the time trial that I did. Uh, because the reason for that is because I started too hard, so I kind of stabbed my legs, so my legs got tight and lactic acid build up in it. So going through the, the, the time trial, I wasn't feeling that good, but you know, I went out, I did my best, and my best was good enough. And determination is key, you know, without determination, it doesn't make no sense to do any sport at all. You have to have a lot of determination because there's no sport out there that is easy, you know? So you have to have a lot of determination. Um, and represent put having the Jamaica colours on my back, you know? I'm very proud, you know? So, yeah. Um, you're recently elected president of the Jamaica Cycling Federation. Um, just give us an idea of some of the things that you, are, you have in mind for the sport for this year. We're, we're looking at um, bringing back some organization on a national level to the sport. We have appointed a national coach, which is Carlton Simon, with the, the primary objective of developing the talent we have already identified. Primarily, I would say Marlo, Rodman, and Brandon Reed from the junior. Um, one of the primary objectives we have is to see if we can qualify Marlo for the next Olympics in 2020, and then look at how we can work with the clubs in terms of giving us the talent, so the clubs will develop the talent and bring it to us at the national level. Um, so we recognize the resource constraint we have, so therefore we have to be very focused about what we do. So that, that's primarily what we're doing now, um, to see if we can bring the, the sort of awareness to cycling so that the, the, um, the corporate sponsors can find some value in it. Um, it's, it's huge internationally, we have to bring it to that level also um, locally and, and the only way we can do that is to bring some brand awareness to cycling. I know most recently you, you went over to Trinidad, right? And you competed in the Caribbean Championships as well as the Pan Am Championships. Tell us a bit about that experience for you. Well, it wasn't my first time at the Pan Am levels. It's, it's my second experience. The first time I did the sprints. This time it's more the endurance events. I fell short, I think, where experience came in. The guys were a lot rough over there. Yeah, had to deal with close encounters, the guys rubbing on and stuff. The pace was really hard. But I think I fell short with that. That's a little bit of experience. Okay, tell us a bit about your training. Um, you're, you're, you're on a particular training program and give us an idea of some of the things that you have been doing differently the second time around versus the first time that you went. Well, the first time, as I said, I was doing the sprints. It was mostly gym based. Well, I was in the gym in the morning and I'll be at the track in the evening. This time I'm back as an endurance rider, so 
put in like 15 to 20 hours a week. I try, we'll, we'll, we'll work hard. Sometimes I go down to 12, so I'm a bit short on the hours, but it's more endurance stuff. Final two weeks before the games, we were here at the stadium because of because of the gall and some other events. We uh, preparation got limited. We only had uh, like four training sessions at the stadium. But what are the next events for you? After competing this championship here today and tomorrow, we have the Caribbean Cycling Championships. It's a road race event. I'm actually looking forward to that one. I think I can crack a podium finish at this. Nothing less than a top 10 will be satisfying for me. Well, today's event was great uh, because I actually raced with the male and them instead because I was the only female and I did the carrying and the mat sprint where I finished second in both. So it was pretty good, a pretty good event today. And the competition is good. I always like the competition. <laughs> okay, so you've been racing against the men. Um, I mean, you're the, pretty much the only female that is riding right now. Um, how do you feel about that in terms of competition? Would you like to see more females participating? Oh yes, for sure. We will, uh, it would be great to actually have more females involved in the sports than just only have one female racing against the men because it's much better when female compete against female because male strength is actually totally different from male and female strength so it's too bad just not compatible so it would be good to have more female um, involved in the sports. Okay, tell us about the racing in Trinidad. Uh, how does it compare to what's here now even though you're not competing against any woman here Tell us about the competition in Trinidad. Trinidad is awesome. Reason being because you have all categories. In Trinidad you have female racing. Mostly female in Trinidad racing is like track. You'll have a bigger female competition on the track than on the road because they're more interested in the track than actually road racing. So Trinidad is like the cycling for the Caribbean because in Trinidad you have a structured program going on in Trinidad than any other Caribbean country. So you will find majority of Caribbean countries, other riders coming to Trinidad to race or even train and base in Trinidad. Alright, so what are some of the goals for Dahlia? Um, what are you looking forward to? World Championships, Olympics? What are some of your future goals? Well, my future goal is, well, the next major competition coming up, Games is the Commonwealth Games, which I look forward to, which I'm actually going back to Trinidad to prepare, get my preparation for the game but my goal is world championship and the olympic thank you Dalia. good luck the results saw the our lone female participant Dalia palmer winning the 500 meter event as well as a 200 meter event in the juniors category brandon reed won both the 500 meter event and the 200 meter event with thomas thompson and malik reed in second and third respectively in the elite one kilometer race, Marlo Rodman came out the victor with Daniel Palmer and Andrew Ramsey in third. For the elite scratch, it was Marlo Rodman, Andrew Ramsey and Tyrone Edwards in second and third respectively. In the elite 200 meter, it was Marlo Rodman, Daniel Palmer and Shaquille Sinclair in first, second and third. Also, the junior sprint, went to Brandon Reed, Thomas Thompson, and Malik Reed in third. The elite sprint was once again won by Marla Rodman, Daniel Palmer in second, and Romeo Hill in third position. The Omnium event, however, had to be cancelled due to the inclement weather, and it is the organizers have stated that they will run this event on Saturday, September the 16th. So, Come on out, support our athletes as, they, as the Federation tries to bring back cycling to a level that it was at in Jamaica in the previous years. 